Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make this vintage looking cake dress. I started off with some buttercream, adding it onto a black cake board and spreading it on with a spatula. Add on your desired cake. Here I've got a sponge cake. I'll have the recipe video in the description box below. And then add on a sugar syrup. Here I've added some cherry brandy into my sugar syrup. Then taking some buttercream in a piping bag, going over the outside to create a dam. And that way I can pipe in my custard, which is soft, and under the weight of the cake, it won't seep out to the end, um, the edges, because you have that dam of buttercream that's protecting, protecting it. Then add on your next layer of cake, again with a sugar syrup. And I'll have the recipe for the sugar syrup in the description box as well. Next, I've gone in with some chocolate custard. Just alternating the two. And then for the very last layer, I decided to go with a mixture of both. Vanilla and chocolate custard. Couldn't decide which one I liked better. Then for the underside of the cake, the very last layer, add the sugar syrup onto the underside, pop it over. And then I would refrigerate that or freeze it for at least 10 minutes before you add on the crumb coat, just so it doesn't move around. That way the buttercream will set. And here we're just creating a very thin layer of the whole cake, so just the crumb coat. Having said that though, this cake will be covered in fondant. Usually when I do fondant cakes, I don't create a crumb coat. But if you'd like to, if it makes you feel better, you can definitely go on with this step all the same. Pop it into the freezer for another 10 minutes to set up, and in the meantime, we'll make her dress. So I have some black fondant, rolling it out till about three millimeters in thickness. Cutting one side flat, and then right in the middle, I'm cutting out a triangle, and that'll be the V shape for her dress. Cut the underside and the sides as well, just to make it a bit neater. And then wet her entire body with a little bit of water on a brush. Press on her dress, make sure it's fitted nicely. Then turn it around and connect your fondant. If your fondant's too short, you can usually just massage it with your fingers and stretch it out until it touches. And the base of the dress doesn't have to be too neat because it's going to be hidden inside the cake. We'll let that set, and in the meantime, we'll create our final layer of frosting. So I've got my buttercream going around the whole cake now. Starting from the bottom, working my way up to the top. And then removing that buttercream to make it all nice and flat. Add in the buttercream in spaces that are missing. And then at the very top, I kind of tried to round the edge so it looked more like a, um, a dress than a, a dome. Got some gold colored fondant, cutting out some strips and this will be the trimming at the very bottom of our dress. I've got a sponge pad and using my bowl tool, circular motions on the very edge of that fondant to create those folds. Then attach it onto your cake at the very bottom with some water. You don't need very much at all, just until it's nice and tacky. And then go over again with the second layer. And if you like, you could pleat it onto the cake, so you'll fold the fondant as you're attaching onto the cake to create some um, pleats and some dimension. Here I have Gold Diamond. Uh, it's a mica powder by Creative Cake Decorating. Added in a little bit of alcohol to create a paint. And then going in to paint over my gold. Um, fondant. If you don't want to use alcohol, I just use normal vodka, uh, but you could also use rose water as well. Then cut in a circle at the very top of the cake to make room for your doll. If you skip this step, then your cake is going to crack. So make sure you leave some room here for your doll. Then apply a thin layer of water along the outside of your cake and pop on your fondant. Here's some black fondant that I rolled out about three millimeters in thickness. Now creating the folds for the dress, just pinching the fondant between my fingers here, you can see. And it's as simple as that. Take a scissors, cut around until it's right at the trim. It's all nice and even. And then pop in your dress. And I've covered her in glad wrap, so it's a bit more food safe. Press her down into the cake from her arms. Do not press onto the fondant dress, because then you will dent it. Just like so. And for the last decorations, I'm going to create a trimming to go around her waist. So I've got that gold fondant again. 
and I've just cut it out with some um, patterned cutters, some border cutters, and attaching it onto the cake in two layers again, one around the cake and one around her waist. And painting that in the exact same way as we did before using those um, mica powders, the gold diamond. Once you've done a layer of paint, I like to go in again with some dried mica powder. To complete the cake, give it a bit of a steam to remove any excess cornstarch to make it all nice and even colour. Let's so make a princess doll cake decorated with fondant rather than buttercream. I think, in a way, fondant could probably be even easier than buttercream simply because it's less time consuming, only in the sense that once you put the fondant over it, it's pretty much decorated. I mean, you create those folds and the dress looks really natural. And it all comes down to how it is you want to dress it. This is just something simple if you'd like to, if you've never done doll cake before and you just wanted to try it out, this is how I do it. Thanks guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will catch you next time.